igniting community, a safe space to learn, share, and grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Hey there, thank you so much for joining me for another Tarot Tuesdays. This is your weekly intuitive tarot card and crystal reading. My name is Rebecca Schmidt of Trust the Effing Process as well as Ignite and Community. And I am sitting outside of my home here in Samanio, Costa Rica. And um, I'm excited to be able to offer you this reading. Today's February 8th, 2022. So this will be the energies for the week ahead. Um, I guess going right through until Valentine's Day. Ooh, we have the day of love and friendship coming up. Any plans, any celebrations going on? What's happening? It doesn't have to be romantic love. Celebrate love. Celebrate yourself, loving yourself. Celebrate friendship love. Celebrate family love, animals, um, you know, nature. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be. I don't know who, like, where did that, does anyone out there know? How did that all start? That love, suddenly only, you know, romantic love. What about unconditional love? Like, I, I just... I remember even when I was a teenager, I uh, I wouldn't write love, L-O-V-E, oh no, you must be in love with them. I would write L-U-V. And that's so funny to me now that I was so uncomfortable to say, you know, love. Um, and for many years, I wouldn't say I love you to anyone uh, other than maybe if I had, you know, a significant other at that time. Um, and then, you know, my life changed and I went through some really hard things and and I just started telling everyone I loved them. I wanted them to know, you know, because like you, you, they, I, I needed them to know that, you know, I really appreciated their support and who they were. So I became that person that's leaving, leaving the room, getting out of the car, whatever, saying, love you, love you, to the point that sometimes now I walk out of a store and I'm like, love you. And then I'm like, Right, don't know you, that was awkward. Sorry about that. <laughs> eh, you know what, but I, I'm sure it made their day. I hope it did. It, it made mine. I always laugh when I do that. So <laughs> it's happened a few times, more than once. You, comment below. Let me know if I'm not alone here. <laughs> okay, guys, I chose a crystal for our weekly reading. And this is a piece of yellow jasper. Um, it's got some red jasper in there as well and some quartz. And it's actually, I wish I could get the light on it, but I don't know if I'm going to do that properly. Um, it's got some sparkly stuff going on. It's so pretty. Um, yellow jasper is, it's such a wonderful crystal. I love that it wanted to join um, our weekly reading um, because I'm tuning in with the energies around us, right? And so it provides strength and mental clarity. Um, it's really great for protection if you're doing any spiritual work or if you're physically traveling. It's great for that. Um, it is the power to solidify new interests and new relationships. That's cool. Um, it helps you to see things in a different light. It adds clarity. And um, it's also great for the immune system, boosting your immune system. So if things have felt heavy or... I mean, we, we went through some tough energies. There's been tough energies for a few years, but even just the last like, month or two um, have been intense for a lot of us. And I think you're going to see things starting to move forward soon. There's going to be a lot of change. As, as a dear friend of mine said the other day, we just got throttled forward. I was like, Whew. okay, that's what happened with that new moon and Uranus. Um, if there was big changes in your life in the last week or two, just know that it's moving you um, in the direction that your soul really wants you to move. And um, it's not really about you. It's about <laughs> your soul's evolution. So <laughs> what you're wanting up here and what your soul is telling you in here, and are you even connected to be able to check in with that? Um, you know, maybe those are some things you want to check in with yourself okay so um we're starting off with those wonderful energies that feels like a boost to optimism it feels grounding i actually found this on the beach um not too long ago and you know i don't know about you guys but like for me when i find something like you know a, a special shell or a sparkly crystal or rock like this is like you know i just won the jackpot it'd be like equivalent to someone getting like a huge check or something or a wonderful gift so I always feel like it's a blessing or a gift from the universe. And um, 
I don't know. Do you feel that way too? <laughs> Am I alone here? All right, I'm, I'm shuffling. A card flipped over. The first card of your reading is the Page of Wands. This is like the Page of Fire. And we're starting, we're starting things off moving. Things are moving all right. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't joking around, I guess, when I said that. I felt like things were going to move forward. This is fire energy. Things are bursting forward. You might get some news. There might be a sudden just like action, like everything's happening. Or um, maybe you feel more energetic or passionate or creative. It's like this spark is um is going off so that's a really exciting way to start off this week um let's see what else is going on i feel like it's almost like you're not looking in this a certain direction it's like you're wanting something else or you're focusing on something and then boom and it comes and you're like oh wow i wasn't even thinking about that that's awesome so it feels really positive and um i feel like it's getting it's getting things moving more, making you feel more motivated, perhaps. It's almost like this momentum is, um, oh, some of you might be making travel plans or there's news about travel plans. Um, things are happening fast. Okay, Ace of Swords. So this is great news too. This is, Aces always have to do with new beginnings or new energy that's coming in. And um, Swords have to do with the element of air. And they have to do with our mental realm, communications, um, belief systems. I feel like this is a solution coming in or a new idea. Like you're being offered the truth, clarity. Um, what else are we needing here? Maybe it's like you're drawing a line, a line in the sand. Like something is is is. It's, it's a new, like you haven't done this before. So if you're drawing a line in the sand, you're finally drawing that line in the sand. If you're hearing a truth or speaking your truth, um, this might be new. There, a new perspective could be happening here. It's almost like this brings in, it could even be new, new rules, new laws that are coming um, to fruition. Um, I'm hearing truth bomb. We might be getting like something just... It might even just be like a truth bomb, like an aha moment or like a memory that you have or um, a sudden understanding that you just didn't didn't get before. Um, oh, and this is it's great because this is, you know, the Valentine's Day uh, edition of Tarot Tuesdays. And here we have the Two of Cups. So um, Two of Cups generally has to do with an emotional connection between two people or two whatever it is. And... Um, I like it because it's a heart connection. I mean, there could be uh, um, heart to hearts coming. People could be sharing their feelings. Um, they're ready to help each other to fill each other's cups, perhaps. So imagine each cup is what you want for your personal fulfillment or your, your emotional needs or that what you want in a relationship. And then this other person comes in and, and they're going to help you to make that happen. There's a special soul bond here. This can be friendship. This doesn't have to be romantic by any means. It can even be within a work relationship. It's something where you feel emotionally fulfilled by the other person or the other person makes you feel safe or comfortable in a way that maybe you don't feel safe or comfortable um, with other people. But this can also be to do with love. I don't want to negate that in any way. <laughs> so perhaps there is... Um, you know, someone someone coming in and, and speaking their truth or someone new coming in and saying, hey, hey, I've been watching you or I want to work this out or I don't know what it is, something new, something new that hasn't um, happened before. Maybe they have a new perspective on it. Maybe they have a sudden aha moment like, whoa, is there someone that's just a friend that you never thought of as more than that? Hmm. Or maybe it's vice versa. <laughs> maybe the person that you're in a romantic relationship with, you're realizing that is just my friend. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? No, actually, I think it's the, the first for the majority of people watching this. But again, take what resonates, take what resonates. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is going on this week. Oh, I like that. That's so great. Everyone loves love. The star. We had this last week as well. I love that it's continuing on 
uh, and the energies of this week too. It starts a major arcana card and major arcana, as I like to explain as having like a, a greater energy than, than maybe your day-to-day -day lives. Um, it's kind of to do with that soul journey or soul evolution that I was talking about. And this is an energy of renewal blessings peace uh wishes alignment renewal could be healing they're really bringing me to the the fact that this person is is naked and so i feel like there's nothing to hide i feel like everything that's gone on by now it's just you're not hiding anymore uh, maybe you're not hiding your emotional needs anymore mm -hmm. maybe that's what needs to come up here and this also is a card of optimism and it's 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 like an energy of um where there's been blocks to future planning now it's like an open i don't know open <laughs> open door um to be to be able to start to move ahead and 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 plan more um future there's also this sense of rebirth coming through here for many so again if you have gone through some really tough shakeup so your life is just suddenly very different this is you kind of rebirthing and balancing out um you know everything that's gone on kind of processing everything and um and checking in with with your own needs and now where do you want to go okay that's if that's over then what now what would you what are your wishes what are your blessings it's kind of like there's this beautiful open energy for for, it's, it really is this beautiful sense of peace and, and balancing and, and renewal and healing and, and, and rising again. So if life has, um, it could even be expansion for some people. So even if this is like a, a business partnership where you guys have a, a nice connection, there could be, could be some, some big expansion coming in. That could be what this news is all about. News coming in, maybe it's an offer or, um, I don't know, an offer, a new opportunity. Um, wow. So if you're looking for a partnership, or this could be a, a new a new friend or, or a mentor or anyone that comes in that really you really connect with um, in, uh, in ways that kind of, you know, they're meeting your emotional needs. And, and there's this kind of, um, there's a, a, a sense of an emotional bond. It's really nice. Okay, let's pull one more card. One more card for the week of February 8th, 2022. And, oh, I dropped it one second, my friend. <laughs> All right, it's the Three of Pentacles. So there is this sense of collaboration coming together. People might be reaching out to you to move a project or something creative project or um, money-making idea or financial stuff <laughs> they might be reaching out to you to move things forward um i just heard someone might be it's like a sale um sale of a car maybe sale of a house property business there's an exchanging of um i don't know what, it was like a saying that just went through my head but like an exchanging of um the guard changing of the guard is that <laughs> something going on here um that has to do with with teamwork you know so people could be coming to you for your expertise you could be reaching out to another um there could be some contracts am i pointing to the right spot <laughs> contracts that might want to be signed or we're looking at new rules and regulations and 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 in creation of this project or maybe that's your ideas and you've written them all down and now someone's going to bring them to fruition so maybe someone's going to help you make a website or uh, invest your money where it should you know it's going to be able to grow or perhaps this is your health or happiness maybe you're consulting with someone um for, for nutrition or our health. And when I say health, I don't mean so much like doctors. I feel like it's, it could be, I guess, but I feel like it's more to do with like um, physical body or energetic work, like to do with, that's gonna bring, um, help you reach your health goals. Uh, so maybe even going to join some friends to get together. So when I look at this overall, and I'll take a picture of, of the cards, um and see if i can post them down below this video um it feels really good yeah whatever's coming in here it's coming in here fast and it's 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 you know a new offer a new idea a new solution a new perspective a new truth and it has to do with another 
that feels good. And then there's just this overall sense of renewal and healing and blessings and, and you know, optimism and expansion. And, and so perhaps it is, you know, maybe you're selling something or something, you're buying something, perhaps you're purchasing what, what you've been wanting to, or you're, you're collaborating with others um, to move things forward. It just feels, it feels really good. And I'm, uh, I'm really happy to, to share those energies and uh, let me know if any of that makes sense for you down below in the comments. Also, um, again, if you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. And uh, you can go ahead and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our other reading or readings or my readings, as well as other videos that we post daily on Igniting Community. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you're ready for a personal reading or you want to gift one to a friend or family member, please reach out. I have um, a few different um, types of sessions that I offer and um, they're really cool for me. Whenever I get feedback, it's like always mind. And even with, with these videos, when you guys give me feedback, it's always a little mind blowing um, to how it resonates in your world. But it makes me really understand that we really are all in this together. And um, even though I'm tuning into the collective energy, I'm sure there was messages right there that you were like, oh, that's for me. Oh, that's what that's about. Um, and if it doesn't make sense yet, check in a few, think back in a few days to this video. Or if you're watching this at the end of the week, perhaps you can now look back at the last week and be like, wow, okay, yeah. That is how that happens. So I wish you the best. I hope you have a wonderful week. And until next time, you know, share the love. Happy Valentine's Day, the day of love and friendship. And um, thanks again for, for being a part of this community. It means the world to Lynn and I. And um, we really hope that it's helping um, everyone to just come together and, and um try new things and, and have a nice growth mindset and be kind and loving and, and, and just um, be good to yourself, okay? And good to one another. All right, thanks so much. Ciao for now. Have a great night or day or morning. <laughs> Take care.